Today was a typical day for Minot Air Force Base's 54th Helicopter Squadron. The pilots, flight engineers, and UH-1N helicopters support the 91st Missile Wing. They train daily to ensure the missile complex in North Dakota is safe and secure. During a mission in the dead of winter, one crew practiced rescue maneuvers using a ground-penetrating hoist and live people. First Lieutenant Kyle Nelson tells us how important this live training is to the crew's mission. You really want to try to see as many different kinds of things as you can so that if something comes along real world, there's a good chance you've seen it before in a training situation. So you're not going into a real world event with something you've never done before. Weather conditions play a big role in planning their operations. The cold actually does make our aircraft performance a little bit better, which is nice. Uh, gives us a little more leeway on how much weight we can carry. Um, which means more fuel, more passengers. When snow is a factor, the pilots have to consider their visibility and the potential dangers it leads to when you don't have it. Captain Jonathan Bonilla tells us about some potential dangers faced when they operate in snow. Whenever you're attempting to, uh, to land, the snow picks up and it just completely blocks your field of view, which essentially leaves you guys with no visual cues as to how fast you're going or how high you are and that kind of stuff. Not only is the 54th Helicopter Squadron poised to keep a watchful eye on the missile fields, search and rescue missions like today's training exercise is also a key component of their mission. Reporting from Minot Air Force Base, I'm A1C Isabella Workman.